everybody, E here. Welcome back to Thursday Theorist. Today, we are talking about the Colorado Kid. Definitely not one of King's best novels, that's for sure. Um, but I have talked to some people uh, about this. Uh, Curtis from Cedar Hollow Reviews. If you're watching this, I know you love this book. Um, I can't remember. Landon, did you like this? Let me know down there in the comments below. Um, this one is... This one ticked off a lot of people, uh, myself included, not gonna lie. Uh, the reason it upset so many people, uh, two things. Uh, first off, uh, the Hard Case Crime crew, uh, the people who bought those books, it wasn't Hard Case Crime. It wasn't like Lawrence Block and, and the like. It wasn't anything like that. It wasn't like the old pulp noir thrillers. Um, and unfortunately, it was probably too smart. For that crowd, um, the, the thing is, smart is not always good. Um, King tried to do something uh, telling like the nature of mystery. And people expected, this also says a lot to um, expectation versus, you know, delivery. Uh, um, if you're going to go with hard case crime, you want to write something that is actually a pot boiler, that is actually pulp noir, that is something along those lines. Um, what he did was, he did a literary pulp novel based on, you know, how not all mysteries are solved. That was a problem for the second group of people who do not think this is a novel. Um, and that would be me. This isn't a novel. As far as the, um, it's 184 pages, and the typeset is huge for 184 pages. Um, this is a drawn out novella. It's a novella by industry standards. That's why it's on this section of Thursday Theorist instead of being with the novel section of Thursday Theorist. Now King did come back and do Joyland as al almost as an apology <laughs> for this novel. It still didn't quite hit the mark for the hard case crime crowd, but it certainly hit the mark for readers like me. It's one of my favorite books from him, probably my top 20 of his stuff. Um, not in the top 10, but definitely in the top 20. Um, it was a return to form for him, I feel. Uh, but how does this one tie into The Dark Tower? Um, also, I know you guys were expecting everything's eventual, everything's eventual for this episode, but I got a lot more research to do on that one. That one kind of threw a wrench in my gear works. Um, I got back from the con and I was looking it over and I'm like, oh, oh, hold up. Uh, there's more here than I thought there was. Um, I'm not a big fan of that collection, but we'll get to it soon-ish. Soon-ish. Um, anyways, this takes place in Haven. Haven. Tommy Knockers, simple as that. You know how my, my theory works by now. If you're, just, if you're just watching this video, um, spoilers also from here on out. If you're just watching this video, and it's spoilers for all of King's stuff. All of it. Like, everything. If you haven't read all of his works... I highly suggest you don't watch this, the rest of this video, okay? You can watch it up to this point. But spoilers for this. Um, my theory is that it, well, Pennywise, or the entity known as it, whatever, um, that he was a gray. And the thing that, that brings me to that conclusion is some stuff that's said in Dreamcatcher. He's brought up in Dreamcatcher. It says Pennywise lives. Um, the grays in Dreamcatcher are the same... They have the same type of abilities, psychic abilities, that the Greys do in the Tommyknockers. But uh, we know how all that ties together. Tommyknockers doesn't tie in with a hard connect, um, but Dreamcatcher does in that it says Pennywise lives. Now with all that together, Haven is connected to that. Haven is where the spaceship landed in the Tommyknockers. So you have your connection with Colorado Kid. There you go. I mean, it's easy as that. Now, do they reference any of the stuff that happened in Haven way back in the way back um, during, you know, the time when the spaceship came out of the Earth? No, they don't. But it does happen in Haven. But um, if you have watched Haven, the TV show, and if you like it, let me know down there in the comments below. I'm thinking about, and Haven is based on this book and Stephen King's, you know, biography, not <laughs> biography, bibliography as a whole. So... If you have watched Haven and you'd like to do like a rewatch of it, or if you're planning to watch it, let me know. I might do one with you. I know Shell wants to watch it with me. 
Um, we're probably going to do a show based on just that show, like we're doing with Castle Rock on Hulu. Um, so if you'd like to join that, let me know down there in the comments below. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you. This has been a Thursday Theorist Review. This has been another Thursday Theorist Review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.